Hey everyone, welcome back to System DLL Tech. In today's video, let's look at how to fix missing API MS Win CRT Runtime L110.dll error. Now, you might have noticed this error pop up when you're trying to launch an application or a game. But don't worry, there are three simple methods which I'm going to discuss in this video which will help you fix this issue and get the application running in no time. In case the DLL file is missing, deleted or corrupted on your Windows PC, then the solution would be to manually download the missing DLL files and place them on the appropriate folders. Now to do this, open your browser, go to this link, scroll down to the download section, select the version and now you need to download one 32-bit and one 64-bit version of the DLL file. Click on download. Similarly, download the 32-bit version as well. Now, once that is done, you need to extract the contents of the zip file. Next, you need to open C folder then the windows folder now scroll down until you find the system32 folder now you need to place the 64 bit version of the dll file in the system32 folder click on continue similarly go back to the windows folder and now find syswow64 folder now copy the 32 bit dll file and paste it in this folder. Once the DLL file is copied and pasted, you can now try restarting the application to see if the DLL error is fixed. For the next method, you need to install or repair Visual Studio 2015 package. Now to do this, open your browser and go to this link. Select the language from the drop down menu and then click on download. You need to download both the exe files. So just select the checkbox next to file name and click on download. Once the files are downloaded, you need to install each of these exe files separately. Right click, run as administrator. Accept terms and conditions and select install. Similarly, open the next exe file as well and install it. Once it is done, now click on close and try running the application again to see if the DLL error is getting fixed. Now, if you already have this file installed, then there's a good chance that the install version is corrupt so you can also repair the installations now to do that go to search area of the taskbar and click on add remove programs click on the first result and using the search option just click on search v c plus plus and scroll down and once you find the installed version or the 2015 version click on these three dots next to it and click on modify here you'll have the option to repair so you can just select repair and repeat the process for the other installation of, as well so once all that is done you can now try launching the application again to see if the DLL error mm -hmm. is fixed If none of the previous methods work, you can try running Windows Update to see if that fixes the missing DLL error. Now to update Windows OS, click on the search area of the taskbar and type settings. Click on the first result, click on Windows Update and then click on this check for updates. This will take a while and it will find out if there are any updates available for your Windows OS. In my PC, there are no updates available. However, in your PC, if there are any updates available, Windows will automatically install them. 
and once installation is complete you need to restart your pc and then try running the application again to see if the missing dll error is getting fixed so that's it for this video hope the method shared in this video was useful for you until next video thank you and bye bye